The new Falcon Valpeak 84W may seem very similar to its predecessor, but it comes with several new features that you should really know about. Let's start with design, where the Valpeak 84W now comes with a more aggressive outer edges equipped with proper staggered shoulder blocks. These blocks, often referred to as mud scoops in the tire industry, significantly improve off-road traction, especially when the tire is deflated. Another notable change is the siping pattern on the shoulders. The sipes there have been simplified and no longer include the wave-like design found on the Wild Peak 83W. Moreover, although both tires feature very similar Z and C shaped blocks, the 84W incorporates a greater number of biters in the middle and on its shoulder lugs. This also applies to the sidewall lugs, which, despite appearing similar to those on the 83W, contain significantly more biters, further enhancing the tire's grip and performance. So the new Wildpeak 84W comes out with a little better dry performance, providing superior dry braking and handling. With increased number of notches pointing in all directions, the tire brings you with greater bite in both linear and lateral directions. Plus, it also delivers superior mid-cornering feedback with its faster steering responsiveness compared to the Wildpeak 83W. Thanks to its stiffer rubber composition, the Wildpeak 84W now provides better under and oversteering balance. With all its lugs having reinforced foundations, the tire basically provides superior stability despite having a heavier overall structure. In contrast, the opposite happens with the Wildpeak 83W. This tire with softer rubber compound is slower to react to steering inputs in comparison. When it comes to wet performance, the Wildpeak 83W interestingly demonstrates a slight advantage over the 84W. This is because of two main things, sipes and rubber composition. While both tires feature an equal number of sipes, the combination of interlocking siping structures and the softer rubber composition of the 83W enhances the sipes' ability to absorb water more effectively. Consequently, these sipes expedite water evacuation, allowing the thread and the biting edges on them to maintain better contact with the road. This results in a quicker steering responsiveness and a more precise on-center feel, ensuring a reliable sense of wet traction. The Wildbeak 84W, on the other hand, having stiffer rubber composition, although provides improved durability, it also does not favor wet traction as much. Plus, the linear pattern of sipes further hindered the water absorption, as with these sipes, they tend to stiffen up, particularly when the tire is cornering sharply. Winter performance brings some mixed bag of results where the Wildpeak 83W excels on icy surfaces whereas the newer 84W performs better in powdery, snowy conditions. Basically, the Falcon Wildpeak 84W's design includes deeper and scalloped outer edges and more aggressive overall sidewall lugs and these provide better snow performance by shoveling snow backwards and generating improved acceleration in return. On the other hand, the Wildpeak 83W's softer compound and dual siping design render it more effective on slick surfaces. So the very same features that allows the 83 to have better wet traction also improves its performance on icy terrains. But yes, there are two good things in favor of 84W. One, the overall performance difference between the two tires here is low. And two, the newer tire also comes with the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rating just like its predecessor. Offer performance is where the new Wildpeak 84W really shines, offering unmatched durability and grip that cater to the unique challenges presented by rocky areas, gravelly roads, muddy trails, and sandy dunes. Let's take a closer look at each one of these terrains. The Wildpeak 84W sets a new standard for rock climbing capabilities thanks to its better crafted design featuring additional notches on its central Z and C-shaped blocks as well as shoulders. 
These elements work in harmony to provide outstanding multi-directional traction which is a critical factor in navigating rocky terrains. Moreover, the 84W also has the edge of staggered shoulder blocks and reinforced foundations underneath all its lugs, and together these provide extra durability and grip with lowered air pressure. Even though the Falcon Wildpeak 84W also lacks the dedicated stone ejectors like the Wildpeak 83W, it still provides a better job in minimizing stone retention, offering better gravel performance especially at high speeds. Plus, the 84W also features additional biting edges and utilizes a more robust rubber compound providing superior cut and chip resistance. This not only reduces the risk of damage but also maintains a more consistent traction comparatively for the newer tire. On muddy trains, although the difference between the two tires is pretty low, the new Falcon Wildpeak 84W still takes the lead. And this is because the tire has better self-cleaning features that swiftly remove dirt particles, avoiding mud packing. It achieves this with its advanced grooves that are linked together in a better way and a relatively deeper thread that helps push more mud out quickly. Additionally, it also has the advantage of stacked shoulder blocks having mud scoops in them, throwing loose ground backwards aiding forward momentum. And yes, same is the case when it comes to sandy terrains. The Wildby 84W sidewalls are built tougher and are more sand optimized, so they are able to create a larger contact with the ground, especially with reduced air pressure. Whereas the Wildby 83W with less aggressive sidewall design does not provide the same level of efficiency in both loose sandy and muddy terrains. So when it comes to fuel consumption, heavier tires usually end up consuming more fuel. But the interesting thing here is despite having more weight on the Wildpeak 84W, both tires end up with similar performance. This is because the 84W now comes with a stiffer thread compound which keeps its lugs from flexing too much. So less energy is wasted into the bending of the blocks and more is conserved. Moreover, the tire provides better heat diffusers and chip resistance, providing greater durability and with it thread life. That's why it also offers better miles for warranty, with 5k more miles with LT sizes and 10k more miles with non-LT ones. So there you have it. The Falcon Wildpeak 84W is definitely an improved tire when it comes to off-road performance, dry handling and durability. However, there are still some areas where the 83W holds a slight edge, particularly in wet traction and ice performance. So ultimately, the choice between these two tires will depend on your specific driving needs and conditions. What do you think? Do let me know in the comments below. And please, don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.